Hello, welcome back to Lingua Memes. Today we're doing German with... Todd. Hello, Todd. Hiya, how's it going? Who are you? Yeah, I'm Danny. And... I love how you say welcome back every time. It's, very, it's, it's, it's like we just take it for granted that everybody's enjoying the whole series of videos as a whole, yeah. as they should be. I'm sure they are. Um, today we're doing a bit more German. And okay. there's a game code that people can play along with. And um, do you remember what the game code is? Of course I remember. As ever, my memory is on top form. The game code which you'll need to enter into the little box at linguamemes.com is PR63. That's a lowercase PNR. Okay, PR63. And then you tap in your email address, press submit, you'll get an email and in the email you get a link you click the link and you go to the game no logging in it's like a this. Rube Goldberg machine of linguistic yeah. wisdom alright so today we have a it's like a multiple choice four answers and this kind of question in the format of a description really isn't it do you want to yeah. have to go at reading that out yeah, well, what what interests me? Sorry, I will of course read it, but yeah, so it's a. This is essentially this is a real quiz format we've got here, uh, that just happens to be in German. So the question, which I'm going to attempt to to read out in my age-old German, is that uh, in dieser Stunde lernen wir über Flüsse und Berge. Okay, what's that mean? Well. I think, are we going to do our wonderful thing where we go through and try and figure it out about, uh, <laughs> you know, or oh, figure out the etymology? Uh, so, in, in Deezer, in, in, in this... In's just in, isn't it? It is. But it's, yeah, I mean, well, let's get the formalities out of the way. It's the nouns that are really interesting. Yeah. In Deezer is essentially in this or in these, uh, really, here. Mm. It's a definite plural here. So, stunder. Mm. Um it's maybe a little tricky on its own, but if you just look, if you just keep going a little to the right, uh, learnen, I mean, that's like, this is where German's great, uh, and where certain stereotypes can help inform a healthy appetite for knowledge, because obviously learnen just means learn. Obviously. So knowing that, you can maybe figure out that stunde is perhaps related to the word study, and means, what do you reckon? I think you know. I think you know. I think everybody knows. I mean, it's um, it's a little specific, but it essentially means a session. Yeah. Or a, so a lesson would be the best way to. I wouldn't say class. That's not how I define. Do you know? What? I don't think it's related to the study at all. Do you know? No. Maybe that's just a mnemonic for in in your brain to help you remember. I think it's more like stand. Yeah, could be. Could like, be. I must like admit, Custer's no, last stand. Custer's last lesson. He's like, oh, I've got, lesson, last got biology. I'm not really bothered. I think I'll go Little Bighorn, actually. Um, so we've got the great German word order next. Uh, via, I think we've covered in the past. And, you know, people who are using lingua memes for German, it's, I think it's fairly likely they'll know that via means we. we. So learn we. German yeah. word order. Uber. Learn. We know about Uber. Everyone uses Uber now. Well, I've only heard bad things about it, to be honest. But <laughs> so, I'm Uber, not, is, uh, Uber is over, isn't it? Wait, hang on. Now, is it over in the... Oh, literally, yes. I thought yeah. you meant, is it over in the sense that I and many people with similar interests to me use the term over, as in, is it successful and do people like it? Uh, in which case, I'm not sure. But yes, Uber literally means over or, or, or above. Yeah, okay. Flusa, this is capital yeah. F because it's a noun. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, I like this one because it's kind of onomatopoeic. So, yeah. in Dieser Stunde lernen wir über, it's essentially we learn about, it's we learn over. Um, so, these are the two things we learn about in the lesson. That's the clue to the yeah. question. So, what's a Flusa? I reckon, I reckon it's something that flows. Oh, it's got to be, hasn't it? Flusa, yes. Uh, if Flusa, uh, that means river. Um, and Subtle other word. It could be a stream or something, but unt everyone knows is and, don't they? That one's passed into popular um, consciousness. 
faire que... Uh, I think that's quite an easy one for maybe some tourists or worldly wise people. Okay. You maybe think of some things ending in Berg or people who aren't even at worldly lives. Worldly wise. I tell you, there's a couple of thousand people who know the root of that word and they were the people on the Titanic. Ooh, good one. I like an iceberg. Ice a bit mountain. harsh, I'll admit. A bit, Ice yeah. mountain. So yeah, Berg, yeah. Berg is like mountain, isn't it? Mountains. Berg is mountains, specifically. Okay. So plural. We'll we check on that with our peak, shall we? Let's do it, yeah. Why not? I forget about peak. It's so handy. Oh, this is showing us the answers. <laughs> yeah. Normally it shows the translations to everything, but let's forget <laughs> that. Well, <laughs> within a peak there, folks. All right, so in in these lessons, we learn about... Or we learn over um, mm -hmm. rivers. This lesson we learn and about mountains. So is that is that <laughs> chimie? <laughs> Sport. That's a... I say... Or is it this one? Well, that's uh, yeah. You can almost do it by process of elimination, which is cheating. You know what? I find um, that the one on the right there. That's a very difficult pronunciation in German, in my opinion. That ch sound. It's sort of like chemi. It's very difficult. But I mean, I think we can probably all work out what biology and sport are. But yeah, chemi got to be chemistry, hasn't it? Yeah. Erdkunde is a brilliant word. Mm. Uh, etymologically, this is where German really shines for me. Um, break it down into two separate words is, is the best way for me. Uh, do you happen to know what, what it means? Oh, I'm pretty sure that Erd is Earth. Earth. Mm -hmm. Kunda, I'm not so sure about. It's a tough one, isn't it? Um, essentially, yeah, like like you said, you've got... Now, the etymology is actually really interesting because I'm trying to think about this. Yeah, it's it's Earth science or Earth study. It's, it's, it's geography. It's a, almost a literal translation of... Um, of geo, as in earth, and graphy, as in study. Study something mm -hmm. with graphs. So, uh, Erde, I mean, yeah, I mean, it refers to the planet Earth. It also refers to, you know, literal earth, the yeah. dirt under your feet, the ground. Yeah. Um, but yes, essentially, it's earth sciences. So, is is there, I think there's an Erdnuss, isn't there? Earth nut. Earth nut. I think that's, yeah. a, peanut, that's a ground nut or peanut. Ground nut, yeah. yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah, it's great. But I love, I love how it's sort of, it's completely different and yet identical to the English method. Because I mean, geo is that's that's a fairly strange word, really. If you think about it, it mm. seems you know it's got that doesn't it doesn't seem very natural to us. Um, yeah. And yet we know it refers to Earth, and in the same way, Erdkunde is. And it's strange. Erd, what's the Erdbeer or something like that in German? Erdbeer. Had bear, I don't know. It's I oh, it's be, be, beer. Are you uh, are you thinking of a uh, strawberry? Had bear. Yeah. Are you thinking of strawberries? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Like, a, it, like an earth, something. Yeah. I think earth it's the same berries. Earth. Yeah, I think it's the same earth. All right, let's click on that. Mm -hmm. It is. Oh, we have to type it in. We do. So I hope you remember how. Had. Kunde. Yeah, There's no right, unusual right. characters. No unusual characters in that one. Let's go to the next question. Oh, wait. Yeah, you know. Let's get uh, um, we... let's get uh, Frau Google to read it out first. Oh, yes, excellent idea, Tante Google. Heute behandeln wir die natürliche Zuchtwahl und Evolution. That's a difficult one, wasn't it? Heute yeah, behandeln wir one. die natürliche Zuchtwahl und Evolution. Zuchtwahl. Zuchtwahl und Evolu Evolution. Evolution. Mm. Heute behandeln wir natürliche Zuchtwahl und Evolution. I think that's how it went. It's a good one, isn't it? So we've got the we've got the sound down. Hmm. Now this is a I'm gonna admit, I'm gonna say I know yeah I'm I'm very experienced in German from way back, 
But I'm, I'm looking at this sentence, I'm thinking, this is an odd one. This really is an odd one. But I think it's um, essentially... Hoyt is today, isn't it? Yeah, Hoyt exactly. Hoyt I think today. It's, a teacher. it's a teacher addressing a class. Today, uh, we're going to uh, deal with behandle, as in handle something. We're going we're to gonna deal handle with, something. Yeah. yeah. We're going to be... We're going to handle we... <laughs> handle we... Naturalisha. That's got to be... Uh, Natural. It's Natural it's. Stuff. This is what's so strange to me. Evolution, obviously, very very simple. But natürliche Zuchtwahl. That means. Correct me if I'm wrong. Internet, please do. And Frau Google. Natural selection. I think is. I hope so. I, the last time the peak didn't give us the translation. No, it didn't this time either. Unless it's. <laughs> um, normally. Actually, by the time people play this properly, we're going to sort this out. So it will mm. give you a proper full translation of th- of this entire question, as it were. But it's a very it's a very strange word. I mean, I happen to know. I just happen to know that phrase off the top of my head. But I have val no- val is is kind of s- choosing something, isn't it? Yeah. Well, zucht means to breed. And val means to sort of to choose, yeah, to vote or cho- yeah, to vote or choose, and so um, yeah, it is. It's 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 natural selection. It's um, yeah, it's evil. It's another way of saying evolution, I suppose. Right. But I, I'm familiar with that particular phrase because it's put that way in a certain book. But so it's not maths. It's, it's not, not matter. physics. Physic. Well done for knowing physics. Physic is physics and not physical education. That would have thrown me as a first time learner. I think. Yeah, it's not shimmy, mm, sort of not shimmy, it's, but it's kind of more biology, isn't it? Oh, it's it? got to be, it's got to be biology. Let's go for it. Can we type B-o-lo-gy. it? Biology. Isn't it? Isn't Is it, it biology or biology? Uh, it's, a, it's somewhere between, it's a biology. Biology. Right, go to the next one. So this time we've got a different synonym for... Mm. I, w- I would say it's a harder G, sorry. That's it. Biology. Anyway. Um, we've got a synonym for kind of subject, haven't we? So, fach. Yeah, see, now that is why I said I'm not sure about calling this a class. I'm not sure I'd use fach to refer to class either. I suppose fach is more like a... Um, Faculty. Just a, Right, so the subject maybe I would translate. It's amazing how many different ways there can be of yeah. saying the same thing. Yeah. But yes, but for this lesson subject. Yeah, we have it too, of course. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now I like Fac- Mussen beer. Sorry, but don't do you like fac- faculty? Is like oh, it's great. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, yeah. Have you have you pulled that one out of thin air, or do you reckon there's something in that? It might be, mightn't there? Ah, uh, there's got to be something in that one. I'm sure. Yeah, we have. Few good ed- is is four, isn't it? Yeah, for, for, for something. For this subject. This subject. Müssen wir. <laughs> must. N- not wollen wir. Must, must we. we. Must we. Yes, we a. must. A. I don't know what that means. Mm, this is a good one. Uh, so you break it down, um, as my old friends would have said. Mündliche. Now... If I if you just take mund on its own, does that help at all? Well, without the umlaut, I think that's a mouth. That's a mouth. Now maybe maybe you see where it's going. Can you figure out what maybe mundlicha means? And prüfung, no, if you look at that. Well, no. prüfung. Think of it as um, <laughs> proving yourself. Yeah, that's like a, <laughs> like a test or an exam. An exam. A mundlicha prüfung is an oral exam. Ah. Oh. Yeah. And Macken, of course, is make or do. Make so. or do. Right, for this faculty or subject, must we a <laughs> it's m- not a mouthly or oral exam do? I love mouthly. I think mean, that's great. Yeah. Is that religion? Uh, well, arguably. I think most of my RE lessons were, were spent talking. Um, the lick, by the way, folks, is no. Giving, there's nothing giving to read sermons, there. You can, you're giving sermons from the mount. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I just think I should point out the lick. It's just an uh, adverbial 
suffix, so I mean it doesn't really it doesn't mean anything on its own, but it makes it mean mouthly, as Danny yeah. put out pointed out. So yeah, math. Reunion. Thank goodness mm. we don't do oral oh exams in math. Can you imagine the poor kids? We're just doing this at, at back to school. It's back to school era here in the UK, and uh, I feel so bad for the kids anyway. But if they have to go and do, oh, imagine standing in front of the class. Um, Seven well, times table. Yeah. Well, my my German uh, spoken exams were one to one, uh, private deals. Thank goodness. But uh, I was very confident in my spoken German back then, so I did okay. But... Sport. No, I think sports mostly t- mostly action over talk, isn't it? Yeah, you'd have to go into talk sport radio and and do your exam <laughs> on that. Oh God, can you imagine? Okay, it's time for your PE oral exam. I think we did real well in the in the first half, and uh, I think it's a shame in the second. <clears throat> in the second half, I mean the the manager, you know, he, he came up with a good strategy, but we, we just it just sort of got away from us. Yeah, brilliant. That'd be amazing. Pass. You got a pass. <laughs> now it's this hey. one, isn't it? It's this one. It's this one. Französisch. Yeah, Französisch. It's a tough one, that actually, isn't it? Französisch. That's French, now, isn't it? I was going to say you don't even you don't need to spend too much time on that word. The start makes it obvious. Yes. Französisch. I'm going to have to type that in a minute. I'm losing it. Französisch. Französisch. F R A N. Oh, and then we've got an umlaut thing to get. Mm, oh that? yeah, that was. An, Button three on my keyboard. Button three. I'll just highlight Lower it. Kick. There is that one. Yeah. Well, uh, there we go. That was nice and difficult. <laughs> oh, you 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 spoke about your math too soon. Now's your math oral exam here. Oh no. Sech mal. Sieben okay, ist, yeah, okay, here we go. So oh, this is that a, word there. Right, well this is I love I love German numbers. Vierzig. German what? German numbers get massive. Right, now the first thing is the W is pronounced with a V, but the the V is pronounced with an F sound. So the number is zwei und vierzig. The the und is actually and that is just the word and as we know it for and so it's it's zwei and vierzig um, two feel, and forty yeah most people know that zwei will be two maybe and fear is four the zig makes it ten times so it's forty it's two and forty forty two the meaning of life so what is sechs mal sieben I mean that's fairly that works itself out fairly neatly if you can figure out it's six and seven six what? must be times it is mal multiple <laughs> multiplied sex <laughs> multiplied is why it's fine physic it's fine fancy now i will admit again this last bit trips me up a little because like I, i've said before on this a couple of times there's a point where you get to you stop sort of learning the individual meaning of words and it becomes less didactic and you just get a feel for the language and how it's constructed. So einfach ist, and then a space. To me, that sort of says like it's as easy as, and I expect I have to click on pi. <laughs> it's as easy as pi. That's what it means to me. I don't know. Maybe uh, Tanta Google will disagree, but einfach. <laughs> Uh, definitely means easy. So so einfach is to me. So simply, it's chemistry. I mean, I suppose. Well, fact as we've covered could be subject. So it's not biology. It's not Erdkunde. It's well, matter mat, mat. is the lesson where you do it. But the meaning of that does uh, so einfach ist matter. Maybe there's a German joke in this that I just don't understand. German jokes are no laughing matter. You should know that. Oh, hey, come on. <laughs> right. M A T H E. I'll type that in. Right. Nice and easy, isn't it? German's so similar to English in some ways. Mm. In, do you want to read it out? Yeah, why not? So, we've got a great English word sticking out here, haven't we? In diesem Trimester. 
befassen wir uns mit dem Zweiten Weltkrieg. Now, hang on, we're not meant to mention this. Okay, so someone's... This is interesting that your German linguist has, or our German linguist, has put this in to Lingua Memes. Because I think a lot of people might be able to figure out just right. off the cuff what Zweiten Weltkrieg might refer to. Now, what gets me immediately, there is trimester. My goodness. <laughs> yeah, well, we have semesters, don't we? We do. We probably have trimesters so, as well. It's just like we I suppose we must. Um, now, befassen, I think, is the next interesting word here. Yeah. And it's um, again, it's sort of it's dealing with, but I choose to say focus. Uh, fasten. We fasten onto it. You know, <laughs> like <laughs> clamp onto it. I'm sorry. I'm just throwing out mnemonics without even any respect for etymology here. Uh, I might go with you, go with you on that. Yeah. Mm. Okay. That's the way I look at it. We. I think there might be something in that. Yes. Uns, what's that? Once. We uh, our, ourselves is it sort of? Well, uns is a uh, yeah essentially. Befa obviously, befassen is the verb, so that's the we are dealing. Um, yeah, uns alone. It's a tricky one, and I wonder if the um, when the peak button goes in, and if it yeah, yeah, essentially it just means our, via uns together is you know us um, with with mit yeah with the dame. It's got to be the. But what is? Can you remember when you use the word dame? I don't. I can't remember. The difference. Um, Instead yeah, of. Der or das. De, de, or der, die das. Uh, <laughs> this is a case thing, isn't it? Yeah. Um, it's the dame is... Um, it could be masculine or neuter, as they call it. Yeah. Uh, and I believe it's the dative singular. So you're taking a bit of a guess there, aren't you? Well, you s no, 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 no. It's not. It's not a guess. It's a. It's an educated guess. Uh, yeah. I think. I think dame is the dative singular in this case. Uh, syntax, you know, I, I took syntax further than I did German. I do have an English degree, so watch it. <laughs> All right, okay. Uh, so I second. Oh, it's got to be. Welt is world. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, Krieg. this thing. Krieg. That's that's war. I know it's war, but it's just one of those things you know, isn't yeah. it? We've heard of Blitzkrieg, haven't we? Which is uh, yeah. Yeah, a war. It's a lightning war. Yeah, so it's interesting. Is there a is there an English word that we can associate with Krieg? Uh, I can't think of one a, off the top yeah, of my that's head. That's a good question. I mean, good lord. Yeah, because I mean, English and German are so intertwined. You'd think there's got to be a common root there. Yeah, I can't think of one, but it's Second mm -hmm. World War. Folks, if you've got one, do comment. All right, so... They don't do Second World War in physics or in geography particularly. Maybe they do nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> religion. Uh, time, know, the maybe they do it in religion as well. They are a changing. I think what we're really going for here is this Geschichte. new mystery. Geschichte. Tough, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Geschichte. Which is that is an. Uh, there is a connection there between history, isn't it? Because you've got the word story in history, haven't you? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And well, Geschichte is a story? Well, it's interesting. Yeah, essentially. Um, I would translate it, it it's event, um, it's a happening. So, yeah, there is definitely a, uh, there's definitely a link there. Yeah, G Geschichte is uh, past happenings. That's mm. <laughs> sort of the best way to say it. But am I also am I right in saying that they use the word for story? Yeah, it can be. Yeah, Geschichte. Yeah, but I I I still think I think happening is the because uh, Geschehen, which is linked, mm. that's a verb, and that that basically means uh, you know you can use that to mean uh, you know uh, what what happened. How can this have happened? You know, mm. it's a past tense. Uh, but I reckon I reckon there's it's worth I think it's worth looking up history, like. Story, the story in history and the mm. Geschichte being a story of some kind. Yeah, yeah you it's definitely. It's worth looking that up. 
chaps, people. Etymology enthusiasts. Um, so I'm going to click on Geschichte. Yeah, Should we see if Auntie Google can pronounce it better than It's us? a tricky one, isn't it? So I think we better, yeah, I think we better I'll give it a listen. It Geschichte. 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 <laughs> Tricky. A lot of people have a, an idea of German as quite a harsh language, but there are times when it can be so subtle that it's almost difficult for an English tongue to get its head around. Geschichte. Next question. Mm. For these. <laughs> yep. And then we immediately. We run into a massive roadblock. Okay. Stunde. We were so, we had Stunde before. We did. I was going to say this is great because you look. So you look for something you know. I don't know if you remember, but Stunde. I mean, yeah. Essentially, it means the period, the hour. Yeah. So what is what in the world is Unterrichten? What do we what do we do when we Unterricht? Under something. Yeah, it's great. It's okay. So Unterricht. Um, is essentially education. Mm. Yeah. So you're <laughs> under, you know, I, it's it's natural to me. It's very evocative. Right. Zind, that's... Under, yeah, we are. Ah. Mm -hmm. From the verb what? From what verb is that? Uh, it's, well, oh, Zind. sorry, I was going to say. Zind. It's not... Uh, Zion, yeah. isn't it? I think so, yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Ich, ich bin, du bist, wir. Yeah, wir yeah, sind. Yeah, that's right. Sind wir. Draußen. Draußen. I think that means outside. It does mean outside, but again, as the further we get into it, I keep having to admit, oh, I'm not, I'm not really sure why. Right. So, I mean, Alison means out, so I suppose it could yeah, be. Yeah, something mm, to do with that. Yeah, uh, Alison. Hmm. So do we do physics outside? I'd love no. it if we did. I think all of these lessons should be done outside. Biology outside? Yeah, sometimes. Not should do, yeah, but I feel like we're uh, yeah. being led. They always go to a pond, don't you, in biology? Go to a pond. Yeah, have a look at some frog spawn or some... Yeah, go, and then... Growing plants, maybe. Yeah. But, no, I English, think we English, gonna... English, outside, open, open theatre, like... Uh, Oh, Shakespeare in the Park. Shakespeare in the Park. So, back hang the on. Net. No, yeah, and speaking of back of the net, so uh, sport. let's let's sport. assume the answer is sport, even though most of my memories of PE were indoors. But I guess I lived in the rainiest valley in the Midlands, so. <laughs> uh, sport it is. Sport. We had trampolining lessons in the in the so sports. So, can you spell this one out for me? Well, it's very much like the English word sport, <laughs> in that it is... S-P-O-R-T. The same, yeah. We've got it, the nice green one. tick of victory. That's what you get, folks. Press return. Oh, my oh goodness. Oh, my good golly. Wow. Well, at least we don't have to type this out. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so there's a lot of bits we've seen before. Theme, theme, theme. Hey, no, they, theme. Yeah, tema obviously is theme, right? Or topic, essentially. The, das, heutige, mm -hmm. something to do with today. Heutige is, is today, yeah. The, the today topic. Is, is the something craft. Oh, yeah. Now, that's a great one. Um, I'm I'm on a 50-50 on this one. Craft is, as all craft work, Kraftwerk fans will know, uh, essentially means power. Power. Yeah, I can't think of another way of explaining that, but I suppose oh, to like make something. Atomkraft, I've heard of. Right, there you go. Atomcraft so, nine danker. That's what I've seen stickers with the little, with the really? smiley, the smiley sunshine. Atomcraft nine danker. No atomic power, thank you. No. So craft means yeah, it means strength or force essentially. Frau yeah, Merkel is, has, has got rid of all the nuclear power, hasn't she? I mean, uh, yeah, among many other things. This next, isn't lingua, this isn't politics memes. Next trimester, whatever. <laughs> Next yes. trimester. Actually, I th do you know? I think I think our 
education already has trimesters, doesn't it? So I think it does. Yeah. Sorry, can we just can we just deal with Kerncraft because I think it's got a really interesting etymology. Um, have you figured out what it means? No. Okay, so that can what does that does that look like a thing you've mentioned? You've already said nuts once. Kernel. Kernel. The core. The nucleus. It's nuclear power. Kerncraft. Mm, nu- it's nu- nuclear power. Nuclear craft. Oh, I'm, I'm, right. I'm ninety percent sure it's. Nu- I think Tanta Google will agree with me. Yeah, um, right. It's core power. It's 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 atomic nuclear power. Okay. So that's, next, that's this one. is next. Next trimester, mm-hmm. we're handling. We're going to handle we yeah. the. That's D. Planetin. That's a feminine D, but planet and well. Planet. That's no problem, is it? Yeah, that's a that's a good that's a, that's a diverse class we've got here. So if we're going to, I'm going to assume, uh, unless you'd like to listen to Tanta Google, I'm going to assume that it's atomic power, and uh, uh, pl- the you know the planets. Yeah. So is it physics or chemistry? I think it's got to be physics, atomic power. There's no, there's no chemicals involved, essentially speaking. I never understood why they split um, science into three anyway in high school, to be honest. But I mean, that's maybe a topic for another time. <laughs> yeah, you're you're kind of going back to the old. Um... Sorry, I get very irate when I talk about education. So <laughs> watch it, yeah. Yeah, you're going back to these sort of von Goethe. Aren't you? He was he was quite <laughs> big on that, um, not subdividing up things. Oh well, crikey! Yeah, we can't. I mean, physique. when you say, there we go. Okay. <laughs> not that you're gonna say like Johann Goethe. I'm not. Um. So you've gone. Well, physic physic was quite right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he he was he was kind of like romantic poet and, um. Natural scientist. Mm, mm. Yeah. All right. He's he's all right guy there. He's all right. I'm sure he did oh, terrible yeah, things. Yeah. I'm sure he did some terrible things. That's always the way with those heroes of the past. That suddenly you find their journal and it turns out they're an awful person. Uh, don't read uh, Winston Churchill fans. Uh, if you want to keep living in your fantasy land, don't read his journal. All right. Okay. Just take it from me. In these. <laughs> Well, while we're talking about the World War Two, yeah, we know all this, don't we? Müssen we mm. In this I'm hour, stuck on we... the echt. What's that? Echt. Yeah, now this is a tough one. Okay, so echt. I mean, it's echt is honestly that that one trips me up. But vorsichtig, that's quite an easy one if you got your etymology head on. If you think of similarities with English, does vorsicht sound like anything in English? Foresight? Foresight, exactly. Forsichtig is to be careful. So, via echt is... Uh, yeah. echt, echt forsichtig is really careful. And mm. that just that naturally occurs to me. Via echt forsichtig sein. I was hoping that you were, you were going to sort of lead into this study of the f- seeing into the future. I'm afraid not. Mystic, not. M- Mystic Meg would be our teacher... Did Mystic Meg do? Oh, I guess she did. I don't know yeah. about her. I just know she was a celebrity mystic. Yeah, she um, looked into the, into the crystal ball and. Wow! Oh, told you the lottery numbers. Yeah. My favourite thing is to imagine all of the uh, like professional mystics who make their living off it, like really resenting her getting the big ticket and being on BBC Two, and all like casting spells to get a like break her crystal ball, you know. All right. <laughs> Vorsichtig sein. Sein is the. Yeah, it's part of. It's essentially part of müssen wir sein. Be, sein. We have to be. be. Yeah. Yeah. Weil. Oh, this is an interesting one. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't weil, it? Weil. Because, because. Yeah. It, yeah. Weil, weil essentially means because. You can interpret it perhaps as being similar to while. While. While yes. we are. While because, I mean, that is. Common. Oh no, this is tough. Okay, I can. Schweff, That is tough, isn't it? No, I'm stuck on that. 
Okay, so... Behandeln? Schwef, it's Schwefelsäure. That umlaut A makes it tricky, but the that essentially makes it... Säure. What's it mean? What's it mean? Well, <laughs> well don't was, you know? That was tremendously partridge. You're stalling for time. What's it mean? What's it mean? Right, well... I can only... I'm afraid I can only guess. We're going to have to ask Tante Google. I think it's some sort of chemical. It has to be a chemical. Schwefel. I mean, it's like... Schwefel Säure. Yeah, it sounds like a dangerous chemical. We're going to have to ask, though. Right, so the whole thing. In in this kind of mm. lesson, must we... Be very careful. Very careful. Because, because we're... Something, handling. We handle something yeah, which is very... very uh, what is it though? I think it might be. I, I'm gonna guess acid. Oh, it's got to be yeah, acid. Uh, but what? I mean, that's too much for acid. Sulfuric acid. What? I reckon the zoya is sour. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you drink it? Ooh, it's, it's, sting. it's a bit. It's a bit tart. <laughs> it's a bit sour, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I mean, I think we've we've decided Sulf our answer. Sulfuric acid. But um. We've decided um, our answer. Yeah, unfortunately, we can't we can't look it up because. Do they use sulfuric acid in schools? What? What? They they can't, can they? Germany is big into its chemical it really? industry, so yeah, I think they I think young. I think it's fair to say that, that is our old friend, Hemi. Oops, Hemi. sorry, I've gone into some, some total random thing. There. You have you destroyed it? Uh, but I'm gonna. I'm yeah, gonna there we are. Yeah, I'm gonna sure. work with Himmy. Himmy, oh, it's so difficult for me. It's been so long, German. I've missed you. Himmy. Now we didn't click on any wrong answers to give you the demonstration yeah. of the red cross of failure, but it is there, lurking. That, and that was the last one. Eight of eight. Nice. Eight out of eight. So we got a bit stuck on Schwefelsäure, so we we're gonna have to. We'll have to look at that. But normally, lingua means will give you. Um, literal translations for every word that you see, but uh, yes, we didn't quite manage it this time. But by the time you play this for yourself, you will see it. So give us a like, please, mm. on um, YouTube or follow or whatever else you do. Comment, on YouTube. subscribe, comment, subscribe. You need to know when these things are coming out. You don't want to keep coming finding us all by yourself. That's we don't like to imagine you out there in the streets of YouTube alone digging around for Lingua Memes videos. Better yet, though, I mean, you could go to linguamemes.com, put your email address in there, and subscribe. Just a thought. So, yeah, thanks for watching, bearing with us. Yeah. Through our little... Um, Vander. Oh, wonder? come on. We, we, oh, we, we, Vander. <laughs> wonder? <laughs> wonder? Yes, we had a bit of Vanderlust. We, we had a come Vander. On, we were great, we were around, great uh, I mean, compared the to the German. Spanish one... Yeah. Go go check out the Spanish ones we've done. We uh we struggle. Go check out where we sing Kylie Minogue in French and then you'll know what struggle sounds like, all right? You should be so lucky. <laughs> right, I'm <laughs> off now. And on that note, 